Hey guys, Brian here for the AW4416 group. Just trying to do a quick little vid here. I was going to think about doing something more elaborate with this, but at the time constraints, um, don't really have the time right now. Anyway, a number of people have been asking whether or not the AW4416 is capable of doing things such as uh, um, notch filters and EQ and whatnot. I don't know why the AW doesn't have a notch filter in it, but it can be set up so that you have access to a makeshift one that works pretty much the same. Now maybe the reason why uh, Yamaha didn't uh, put a notch filter in it is because each one of these banks, our EQ systems, is uh, sweepable from 20 to 20k. And you can stack them all up on, on each other like, let's say... I want to run all of them at 4.49 kilohertz. So we can just get them all spun over to 4.49. Let's go ahead and turn off the high pass. Put these at points. We'll just say point 0.2 for now. Makes it easy. Or excuse me, 2, not point 0.2. What am I thinking? So they're now all set up at the same frequency with the same um, Q, pos or Q point, Q position, whatever the fuck it's called. And we can just dial each one down. And since each one can be cut or boosted by 18 decibels, you pretty much have 72 dB cut there. Now, anybody who claims they can still hear the difference between an actual uh, notch filter and having 72 decibel cut on the frequency that you've selected, I'm going to call bullshit. Because I just don't believe it. Anyway, even if this may not be the right way or the perfect setup for you, you can do it another way. Here, the other way to do it is pretty simple. Now just come to the back here and check it out. This is what I like to use to set this up. We have our stereo in and out. We got our omni outs. All these things can be routed back into the AW's main input board. I personally like to use a standard RCA cable plugged into the stereo ins and outs. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're just going to Pop this guy in here, like so. Come around with the other side, bang, just like that. Then, now we're gonna set up our inputs and outputs. Right now, we have, right here, one little patch out. So here's what I got. We go back into our setup menu, and this is the output. Omni out assign is still going to be auxiliary 1 through 2, but digital stereo out assign will be auxiliaries 1 and 2. Alright? So then we head back into the patch in, and I'm just going to set it up right here that uh, channels input 1 and 2 will be our digital stereo left and right. There we go. So then what we would do is come down into our view section and we'll just say this track on uh, track one we're gonna un we're gonna release it here just make this simpler. But we're going to say that this is our single that we want to put the notch filter in. We're going to go ahead and leave it set up to where there's no signal coming out. But we're going to send a signal through channels or through the auxiliaries, one and two. Now to make this easier, I'm going to go into the pan section. 
And I'm going to go into our routing section for pairing the bus. Pairing the bus right here. So I'm going to go into channel 1 and I'm going to EQ it. What we're going to do is we're going to place a low pass filter on it. And then we're going to sweep it down to what were we at? 4.49, right? So everything below 4.49 we're going to hear. Now we're going to go into channel 2. In channel 2, we're going to put a high pass filter on it. And this we're going to bring up to, let's say, 6.72. So that means everything that we're going to hear is going to be from 6.72 kilohertz on up in that channel. And this channel would be from 4.49 kilohertz down. So from 4.49 to 6.72, we've notched out the audio. We won't hear anything from there. You have, this has effectively created a notch filter for the AW. And then if, when we get ready to put sound in place, we just come back up to our monitor channel. Come over here to the auxiliary switches and turn them on to pre's. And start cranking them up until we get the desired level. I got a little spider hanging down on me here. Get out of here, spider. And that'll send the signal out via the, the outputs in the back, stereo out to stereo in, whatever. And it'll come back in here to channel one and channel two. Like I said, channel two there will give us all the signal from 6.72 on up. Channel 1 will give us all the signal from 4.49 on down. Now this kind of technique can also be used to create um, multi-band uh, compressors and de-essers and maybe a number of other things. All it requires is that you just set up more channels with uh, filters, from, with low and high pass filters from your EQ system and then run your dynamics, con dynamics controls for every channel. And you pretty much got it all set up. Anyway, that's a short and simple explanation of how to turn the AW into a system with a notch filter to use on any channel you wish.